Hello there guys and gals, welcome back to Don the Dong 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 THH for chapter 3 out of 6 and well we are just getting over the deaths of Captain Winky and Scarecrow, um, uh, what was it, Scarecrow Head, yeah, I'll call him Scarecrow Head. Uh, so for now um, we have got the third floor open so we can immediately go to the second floor, get yourself over to Hero, Yasuhiro right here. And then from here, what we can do again, press the white button to open up the map if you want, turn left, and this is the staircase in order to get to the new third floor. Uh, this one's a bit weird, but, you know, you've got a map, so it shouldn't take too long. Right, so where are we going to go first, then? We are going to go straight into the rec room. Now, the rec room is basically the big dartboard right in the middle. There it is, and it'll say rec room on it, which makes life a lot easier for you. But yes, the death of uh, a little Captain Winky there really um, hit these people and students hard. Anyway, not much we're going to do here. You can have a look around if you want, but as soon as we're done talking to Celestial, Monokuma's going to pop up, and then we can just go ahead and leave. Um, watch out! Most unfortunate. Right, when we have left the rec room, what we're going to do, walk down the hall, we are going to pass Kyoko, there she is. And when we continue on, we are going to see, see a little change in light. Basically, right up ahead of us, if we put the map on, is the art room. So turn left and it sort of goes into a dark alleyway. That's This is the entrance for the art room then. By the way, I just want to quickly say that this chapter definitely feels like the most drawn out so far. It, uh... Yeah, there's just a lot of back and forth that we're going to be going to a little bit later on. But anyway, for now, we're going to speak to bigger action head Hifumi. And we are going to pursue, so by pressing the Y button, Sculpting Tools. <laughs> and after speaking with my old blue pill head, we are going to look at the door here, just between these... Um, Art sculptures, the only door in the room on the right hand side. Enter that, and we're going into the repository room. It's me and the janitor's wife in the repository room. Sounds like a love nest. Right, examine the photo on the floor to realize or try and think what in the actual hell titty nipple bags is going on. Oh my god. Man, this bear was funny scary first, but he's just doing my nothing quite a bit now, uh, as we get about halfway through the game. So, after this then, we're going to leave the suppository, repository, and then we're going to go ahead and go to the physics lab next. So, leave the art room as well, we're going to leave old blue pill head right there. So, what we need to do is turn basically 180 degrees, so turn sort of more or less around on yourself, and the physics room is on the bottom left hand corner, just above the cardboard box looking type room. If that is such a room, well, it is now. So, here we go. This is the physics room. Or the physics lab, sorry. And once we're inside, we're going to speak to Chicken Taka Masala. And we have a look at the big machine then, we're basically going to need to interact with the big ball on the top. Um, so, Monokuma, it's a big air, air purifier. Monokuma tries to tell Chicken Taka that it's a time machine, which gets him excited, but then he actually comes out with the air purifier. So, unlucky Chicken Taka. Wah <laughs> wah! <laughs> In other words, you got. Ho ho ho, that's gonna hurt. Anyway, we get a couple more coins. Now, remember, I replayed the first class trial three times, which is why I've got about 200 odd coins. Uh, anyway, turn your camera to the right to, to see the camera, the disposable camera here on the table. We're gonna be picking 
that one up. But yes, in terms of mono coins, that is why I've got 200 odd because I replayed the class trials from the first chapter three times. You get more mono coins that way by replaying the class trials, which is the easiest way to get up to 999. But more on that later. So into this box room here uh, behind the air purifier. And well, yeah, genocide nutbags in here, which, you know, is always daunting. Um, so <laughs> let's just, um, yeah. We're going to be basically teleported now back to the dining hall to report all our findings with the others. So, what we're going to do is speak to Asa Asahina, Sakura, Hiro, Chicken Taka, Kayoko, Celeste and Hifumi. Basically everyone except Genocide Nutbag Jill. So just go ahead, speak to everyone and they're going to tell us exactly what's going on. Well. <laughs> just a second! Well. Um... So, uh... Could it be... Hmm... That's right! Well... Yeah... So... I see... When we do speak with um, Hifumi right here, we are going to pursue the anime characters. So press the Y button of course, then the A button and that will pursue the anime characters. Basically finding out that the camera we found does belong to Hifumi, which comes to the surprise of absolutely nobody at all. Damnation! Let's see. However... What? <laughs> mm. Mm, yes, yes. <laughs> Correct. Right then, so after we've spoken to everyone, what we're going to do then is speak to Celeste again. Um, there's been something that's been bothering me. Well, the fact that everyone's been murdered. Yeah, that will probably, yeah, that will probably worry me too, to be honest. Where you could be next. Anyway, press the white button there and choose it, bothering me. Actually. Huh? <laughs> huh? <sighs> is that okay? And then what we're going to do is go ahead and speak to Asa Asahina, and then we're going to pursue, quote unquote, the truth. So, Y button there, and choose the truth. And after this, we're going to be teleported to the dressing room of the bathhouse. 
to check out something that Big Asahina saw. Hey. <laughs> that sounded like a big butt dinosaur. The Big Asahina saw. <laughs> no. Uh... Sorry, but... Well... Well then. <sighs> now we've got a big thing coming up here. So basically, we're gonna go to the dressing room. But there is a missable scene here that we will need. Now, we have to have the present number 91 called A Man's Fantasy in order to access a bonus scene here. So basically, um, we're gonna obviously you get that present from the mono mono machine in the school store, and of course, it is by luck when you get it. But don't worry if you don't have it. I, by luck, do have it, and I'll show you exactly what it is now. But basically, if you don't have this present just yet, you can either go to the school store, spend some coins, see if you can grab it. If not, do not worry. Um, uh, basically, you can come back to this later on. So, when you do get the present later on, you can just reload the start of the chapter, rush through the start, and just get back to this point. Um, but basically, if you don't have it, honestly, don't panic. Go back, complete the main story first. Uh, along with doing all the other miscellaneous achievements and stuff. But this is one out of two missable gallery images that we can grab. So obviously I'll point out the other when we get to it. It's not in this chapter. But if you do have this, we're going to see a bonus scene where we see the girls taking a bath. Not completely nude, so don't get your... Uh, don't you get? Don't go and get your blue pills in order. Um, but if you don't have it, you won't be able to see that scene. But again, do not worry. Just play through the game get the present later on, and rush back through the start of Chapter 3. Again, just by luck, I managed to get it by the Mono Mono Machine. So anyway, we're examining the lockers there. We've already examined the lockers. And we have uh, examined the laptop as well. So the lockers and the laptop. And basically, we make a new friend called Alter Ego. But we don't, we don't and we can't spend any time with him during free time. But once again, like I said, do not panic if you didn't have the man's fantasy present. Again, we'll just complete the game, grab it in the Mono Mono Machine later, um, as we just ex go ahead and examine the laptop, and we can just rush through this and get this one. Uh, the missing gallery image is what I meant to say, of course. <laughs> hmm. Makoto. Calm down. What? Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> mm. I knew it. That's right. It's true. That's it. In other words, hmm. <laughs> I see. Are you okay with- <laughs> huh? I- I mean- Master. That's right. Um... Master. That's right. Leave it to me. I see. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes, indeed. Are you okay with this? However, so then. But. It's true. So, um. Um. Shall we go? Could it be? 
you know? Hmm. Well? Hey! Uh, uh, Indeed. Hmm. You know? It's true. I... So normally, if you didn't have the man's present, uh, or the man's fantasy present, the scene would end right here, and then we just uh, we would just continue on with the story. If you don't have it, just skip forward. It's only about 30 seconds long. We're basically just going to go in the bath, an image is going to appear, and then we will get teleported away. Uh, but of course, if you do have it, then that's all good. This is what, exactly what the scene's going to look like. So it's always worth having a look at the scene anyway, just... Uh, just in case you uh, are needing to see and what you, you, you know, if, if you do think that you're missing one or whatever, it's always good to see just in case. So turn the camera, pan the camera to the left, or pan it to the right so you're looking to the left. It's always confusing that one. Uh, but just interact with the door and this is going to be a somewhat funny image. Of course there's going to be the, oh look at me and my butt. But there's also, um, as you can see, Genocide Jill slipping up in the air in the top right corner. Sakura, who, I mean, goddamn, that is, I like Sakura, I like Sakura, anyway, if you didn't have the image, you would just come straight here, if you did, you would have been, well, probably looking like Hifumi's haircut right there, I assume, if that's what you're into, of course, I ain't judging, no judging here, we're all into some weird stuff, which I'm not going to tell you exactly what mine is, so don't even ask. But anyway, after all this, this is where we are, this is what we're going to get back into, and then basically, night time, it's going to be night, and we are going to end up basically at the Jimbo. Oh, um, it would seem, huh? However, correct. What? <laughs> what the heck? Huh? <sighs> well, so. You guys? What? However... Okay! Ah! <laughs> Without further... Ten million! I've prepared this graduation for... What do you think? It's like totally... <laughs> it's true. Hmm. What are you saying? Of course. Um... <laughs> I can't wait! I can't... Um... Hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you! You know nothing! <laughs> hey! <clears throat> this is a school announcement. Soon the hmm. Hey. Because How about that? Even 
的。Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. So now the motivation is 10 million dollars. That would get people riled up, I think. And of course, since this is the game, of course people are going to get riled up. But it's up to us to see what the hell's going on. So now it is morning time, and we are going to get up, and we're going to head straight to the dining hall. For a little conversation about the ten, about the uh, eight million dollars. Don't you mean ten million dollars? I, uh, of course. How silly of me. May it Quimby another Simpsons quote? Well, <laughs> I'm full of them. Wow. Hey. Oh. Huh? Hey, what? 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 So then, a bit of free time for the next sort of 20 minutes or so. We can't go and see Chicken Taka Masala. He is depressed, which is understandable. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go to the school store. We're basically going to choose Celeste another couple of times. And then Kyoko just after that. Um, so, of course, if you need to go to the school store, Hope's Peak First Floor, there it is, of course, the school store. Now, remember what I said earlier. I've only got 200 odd coins, remember, because I replayed the first class trial three times, which basically gives you, depending on how you did, I think it's like 99, 100 coins, whatever, each time or something. Um, so, that is why I've got a few. Now, obviously, with Celeste, remember, if you want to... Because, obviously, we're going to keep giving her presents for another two times. So, anything to do with the rose, the um, brooch. I think the lovering may do it as well. The dandelion worked as well. Basically, if you are needing to see what presents uh, people like and love, as I've got that rose, which I know she did like, just go ahead. I actually went on the... I just typed in Google, you know, dangangongonga. Celeste presents like slash loves and then it comes up. I think it came up on the actual website itself With what Celeste liked and loved so that is definitely worth doing if you were looking to see that Wanted to see that but anyway uh, Hope's Peak third floor Celeste will be in the rec room the recreation room if you're French and you talk like that for some reason which, not even French people talk like that, so I just, <laughs> ignore me. But anyway, we've got a rose, we're going to hang out with Celeste, and then, of course, we are going to give her the rose. Well, I'm going to give her the rose. If you've got something similar, then that's all good. But again, don't panic if you don't have something similar, and you can't get any more skill points or whatever off her because you haven't got much money or whatever like that. Honestly, do not panic because we'll be grabbing all that later on anyway. Um, but, of course, this is if you can. It's a bit of an annoyance, uh, sort of randomised presents and things like that in, in certain games. Kind of annoying, but, well, it's what we've got to do, isn't it, sometimes. So there's the rose in Vitro. I don't even know what the hell that was. But she's going to love that. And, uh, well, that gives us another skill point. Me, Actually, honestly. Oh, indeed. Are you okay? <laughs> so then we're going to answer the door now. Uh, Chicken Taka is here and he is sounding die pressed mate he is sounding da 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 die pressed um so just go ahead and speak to him and then ex what we're basically going to do is just take him to the dressing room luckily we can fast travel there but in just a little while when we get to the third floor and start walking around and everything oh we're gonna have to do a lot of walking which <laughs> you know is always fun right uh. 
So, let's go ahead and do exactly that then. So, go into your map then, and uh, where are we going again? Oh yeah, the dressing room. So, the dressing room is still on the first floor of the dormitory, just up there. Which is the sort of top left-hand corner. So, um, it's basically going to be another couple of cutscenes now. But, uh, Chicken Tacker is going to go pure chicken coma and go completely Super Saiyan, which is always nice. Just a second. Enough already. Correct. So he went off his absolute nutsack right there, which, uh, anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to head to the dining room, except this time, uh, Hero is going to take us to the dressing room for a different meeting. You know? Hmm. Hey. So everyone's crying, nobody knows what's going on. So what we're gonna do then, I accidentally speak to Sakuri, you don't have to. We are actually going to speak to Kayoko first. Kayoko pops. And then we can interact with the same mistake. So Y button and then A button on same mistake, of course. So... Huh? Ooh. Listen to me. <laughs> Wrong. Ow. Oh, Hifumi, you'll never die. You'll make it out of here alive. Probably not. So speak to Hifumi. And then after this bit, we're going to get some more free time. Um. <laughs> well. According to the spirit, how about that? You know nothing! I feel as if... Are you okay with this? Honestly, I know that. F you! Yo! Huh? What the heck? What? 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 Oh! Well then. Um. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. F you. Yeah. I'm fucked. Enough already. Hey. Well, holy crap. Um, so, if you were male or female and you think, I want to sleep with a cobra pie looking dude with a big erection haircut, all you got to do is be nice to them and uh, he falls in love with you. That's some pretty fantastic life advice from this game right there. Um, uh, I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> so we're just gonna move on free time now, so we are going to this time Oh, sorry. Yeah, so this time we're gonna pick Celeste. We're gonna select um, Yeah, so we're gonna set sorry I was uh, getting a bit ahead of myself on the old notes there So we're gonna head to the school store again We're gonna try and find something that Celeste will like because we are going to earn the menacing focus skill um, which basically increases your focus gauge by five. So, of course, we're just going to have a look at, again, if you've got the coins again. Don't worry if you don't. Um, it's literally, the whole focus gauge thing is pretty much only for the bullet time battle, which is generally easy enough anyway. So, again, don't worry if you don't have it. Um, but it's always worth just trying to grab a few presents here anyway, just in case. Ooh, some, some ear muffin tops. I got a muffin top, except it's not on my ear, it's the parcel shelf on my gut, which is, uh, well, it's slightly depressing. Still, so we've got a couple of items there, and now we're going to find Celeste, who should steal, and if we have a look in the presents, again, it's always worth doing that as well, because a lot of things may look just completely weird and random, so it's always worth just having a look at what presents that you got, and again, if you go ahead and Google, what Celeste likes and she loves, then of course, um, so she likes this cherry blossom bouquet as well, if you pick that one up or you manage to grab one of those, that's what I end up giving her. Um, so yes, definitely worth just having a look at her likes and loves. And because I wanted the menacing focus skill, I actually just go ahead and manually save the game. I did manually save the game here, just in case. Um, because I just wanted to get the Menacing Focus one out of the way. So head back to Hope's Peak's third floor, which is the rec room again. And then we're going to go on the little, it's not a date is it, it's a little um, free time, a little hangout with Celeste. And then make sure to, whichever one you've got, whether it's a rose, a brooch, whatever you've got, make sure to give her the present and that she will l -l -l love. Do you understand? <laughs> Indeed. Hmm. Are you okay with this? Actually... And there we go, then that now gives us the skill Menacing Focus. Again, don't panic if you didn't get that. We will just go ahead and grab that later on. It's not really necessary to have. It's just a, an extra bonus, as it were. Right, so what you can do now, if you wanted to, you could go for Celeste for a sixth time, get another present, and then complete her report card if you've gotten to this point. Or what we can do, if you don't want to spend any money or you don't have money, we're going to go to the dormitory first floor and we're going to find Kyoko. We're going to hang out with her for once or twice. So go straight ahead of you and slightly to the right. Kyoko Pops should be right there. So we're going to hang out with Kirigiri, old chicken piri piri Kirigiri. Spend some time with her, but we're not going to give her a present for the first time. But that still gives us one skill point, so can't complain, mere. Hey. Correct. So... Whew. Wrong. Correct. Listen. 
So... Correct. <laughs> Goodbye. Once again! Good morning! with genocide Jill and her obsession with Asahina's melons as she called them. I didn't call them that's what that, that that's what genocide Jill so that's what she said. She's called them big jugs, milk makers or something, which okay, and melons. So okay, genocide Jill's you know, she's going nuts at the minute. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, speak to Kyoko again. Of course, this time I'm going to give her a present. So if you are stuck on what to get her, Go ahead, take a little, little look at Google. Again, I just typed in Dangagangagans, Ropers, uh, Kyoko's presents, likes slash loves, and it came up then with exactly what she likes and loves. Now, uh, again, as it turned out, I was kind of lucky and already had one of those presents, so that's why I've gone straight to Kyoko. If you don't have one of the presents, again, just have a look, have a little flick through your presents and compare it to with, compare the list to with which presents that you have or haven't got. If you don't have anything, and you've got the money, of course, go to the school store, go and have a look. And uh, and then we can begin from here. Uh, she's not going to be into the sunflower seeds or royal curry, which is a shame because the royal curry sounds a bit banging, to be honest. But what she is into is, for me anyway, present 81, which is um, a, two teddy bears or something. Um, bunny earmuffs. She's not into the earmuffs. But yeah, that is exactly what I do then. Take a look at the list, compare it to which presents that you've got. And then if you don't have one and you've got the money, of course, go to the school store, pick up one of the presents, and then it's job done. Otherwise, um, again, you'll just have to you'll just have to carry on. You won't if I, th I think if you don't give her a present, you don't get the skill point, I'm not too sure. Uh, but here oh sorry, number 80. So the Bojo Boris Johnson dolls. Oh, yeah, because that's what you want in your bedroom, isn't it? A couple of Boris Johnson dolls. So, like I said, if you've got the present, happy days, or a present. Now we can go and spend some time with Kyoko. And then after this, you go ahead and give her the present of which she'd like. So, of course, for me this time, it's the Bojo Boris Johnson dolls, which 
is just goddamn har horrifying. That's right. And as it turns out, some of these questions are actually random. So thanks to Mikey B, a big shout out to you, buddy, for uh, letting me know this. But the questions here are random. Um, I thought they would be all the same. So if you do get this question there, the answer was swimming. Um, but if you get a random one, like I said, it literally does not matter. You can you can choose two out of three wrong answers, and you can just go ahead and then pick the correct answer. You don't lose anything from um, answering wrong or anything like that. So. You don't have to worry about it too much there. But that is the second time then that we have hung out with Kyoko. And um, pretty much now, that is all we're doing. This is the point where we're going to start getting into a lot. And I mean a lot of back and forth, okay? <laughs> and a lot of dialogue as well. I mean, you'd expect it with a visual novel, but still. So what we're going to do then, we are going to um, head to the dining hall. Oh, in fact, sorry, no, we've got one left to do. Sorry, we've got one more bit of free time to do. Sorry, almost forgot about that. Heading to the din dining hall, we're going to speak to Ayo Asahina. Ayo uh, yeah, S. Um, again, because this is the first time that we are hanging out with her, we don't have to give her a present. But she's such a cutie. I want to give her all the presents in the world, but that's not going to happen. Um... No, so after this bit, we can we cannot give her a present this time, but this does give us another skill point, which is what exactly we need. Mm. Okay. <laughs> That's right. What's your deal? Mm. Mm. You got it all wrong. And this is where the big brand muff stuff begins then. So, heading to the door, let's go and examine the notes. We'll turn the camera to the left to go to the right. Again, slightly confusing, but interact with the note anyway, and that's going to say, meet me. Or you might meet me in a dining hall, all right. Because the uh, paper is Australian for some reason. Or whatever Australian accent that uh, I attempted to do. So anyway, we can now head out, and of course we're going to head slightly to the left to go into the dining hall. Once we are here, a bit of conversation is going to happen, we're going to be sent to the dressing room. Yo! You know? Hmm. Hmm. Actually, hmm. You know? For serious. You. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Hey. Hey. How about that? That's right. Hardy, 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 hardy. Oh, it's all kicking off now. Right. So we. Uh, going to speak to Kyoko, sorry, or Kyoko Pops. Basically, we're going to find out here that someone has taken the laptop. So this, after this conversation, and we are going to wake up. It's This is where the back and forth between floors and rooms begins. 
F you. <laughs> serious. Wrong. Huh? So... What? <sighs> Indeed. But... So that... <laughs> That's terrible! Hmm. What? Say what? <laughs> Damn it! So, um... At the very least... I see. Okay. Hmm. There is nothing to be done. So only four of us appeared in the dining room. Ooh, spooky! Right, so what we're going to do then, we are going to go straight to the right here and then into the rec room. So let's head into the rec room first. You can actually go into any rooms. Oh, sorry, the AV room down here. Uh, you can go into any rooms. Basically, the whole point of this is we just need to enter two rooms and then leave. So I enter that one and then into the nurse's room, but it literally doesn't matter which ones you choose because as you leave at the second room we are going to get the same outcome one big chunky scream and teleportation to the recreation room No, ech, Celestio has been hurt. Luckily not killed, though. So, let's just go ahead and speak to Celestial first, old turkey twizzler head. <laughs> and then we can interact then with the Justice Hammer number one on the floor just to the left behind Celeste. That's Justice Hammer number one. So after this then, we are going to be speaking to Turkey Twizzler once again. Meh. Because that's how I always think when I've been battered in the head with a hammer. Meh. Meh. 
anyway, when we speak to Celeste again again, uh, we're going to pursue the dialogue serious problem. For me, I see. Indeed. See what I mean already about a lot of back and forth and a lot of it drawn out? Yes. So anyway, here is Hifumi in the library looking a bit bloody. Although you couldn't tell. By the size of that cobra pie get. Yep. Looks like he's just having a party with some glow stick or some glow stick liquid or something. Anyway, speaking to Hifumi. And then after this bit then, we are going to interact with the second hammer right on the floor next to Hifumi himself. Uh, you don't actually have to speak to him again, we're all good with that. So the second Justice Hammer is on the floor right there. A little bit bigger than the first one, but not enough to kill, apparently. So, basically, the information that we've got so far. Celeste and Hifumi were attacked by a person in a robo-justice costume. And now what we're going to do is take Hifumi to the nurse's office to chill out and recover. And then we're going to run back up because Celeste saw something and uh, yeah, we're just going to be going through a lot now. <laughs> hmm. Um, so that I... Well then. Yes. So in other... Oh! Hmm. What? Hey! Oh! Um. <laughs> well then. Hmm. <laughs> what to do? Huh. What? Let's go. Uh, okay, Jesus Christ, you mad dog. Right, so from where we are, then what we're going to do is go all the way down to the other end. We're basically heading now to class 2B. And it is literally more or less just straight. This is class 2A. As you'll be able to see, there it is. 
So we just need to go in more or less a straight line. It's in the bottom right hand corner. And that will be 2B or not 2B. That is the quest BB. How do we not die 2D? I don't know, but it's kind of fun, EE. -E. Uh, anyway, we're going to enter, and then we're going to leave for some a more conversation. <laughs> a lot more. Everyone. Just a second. What? Oh, <laughs> huh? What? Hmm. So then. So then. Just a second. And back down onto the first floor. So let's go to the nurse's office now, quick as you can. It's basically straight in front of you and to the left there. Nice little love hearts on it. And okie dokie, hopey nopey. Hifumi is dead on the floor with blood all over his head and another hammer chilling right next to him and who dies like that who dies like a hippo anyway apparently Hifumi dies like a hippo what the no what a body has been So let's examine a few things then. Don't need to uh, worry about Hippo Hifumi. We're just going to examine the third Justice Hammer. Uh, hammer. Are you okay with this? So. <sighs> So we will be able to fast travel soon, but of course since we can't, what we're going to do then is go to the uh, physics lab, which remember is all the way on the bottom left hand corner, so just basically go all the way around, press the B button of course to uh, sprint faster if you so wish, but we're going into the physics lab and then we're going inside the equipment room, which is of course the door at the back room inside the physics lab. Oh man, no oh, man, knock my chicken little Taka Masala. So that is Hifumi and the Taka dead. And now it's going to start getting a little crazier. So we're going to examine Toko. Toko Pops on the uh, right, who's already passed out because she doesn't like any blood of any kind, apparently. Which, when it's her time of the month, she must have a hell of a bad time with that one, apparently, then. Ooh. Um. Sorry, because you don't like blood, and if you see blood coming out of your wazoo, yeah, it's all gonna not, it's gonna leave a nasty mark, isn't it? So we're trying with a Justice Hammer 4 anyway, or Justice 4 Hammer, Justice Hammer 4, yeah. And then what we're going to do, we are going to automatically leave after this and run into Celeste, who tells us a little secret. What? Hey! I see. Dead. Oh! Okay! Hmm. Indeed. Okay. 
<laughs> what did you say? Come on. What? Hey! Indeed. What? What? Why? Huh? Hina. No way! No! Hina. <laughs> what? Well. Huh? Damn. <laughs> Astra! This... Uh! Huh? Stop talking. <laughs> Not possible. Huh? Fine. Let's see. <laughs> That's right. Shing! <laughs> Let's see. Perhaps. <laughs> In other words. What? <laughs> Soda. But. <laughs> Yeah. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> well, holy monkey fried onion ring ball knobs. That is, uh, so Hifumi and Taka's body is missing. So, we need to go and run around and check out the other rooms. First, what we're going to do is run down to the art room. So, of course, you know the art room. It's on the right-hand side of the map here. Again, it can be a bit confusing as to sort of where you're going and what you're doing, but it's straight in front of us. When we're in the art room then, what we're going to do is try to enter the repos the suppository, supposedly repository room. So try to enter it, but it's locked. So after this, we're going to need to leave. So nothing we can do, we're going to leave the area. Next, we're going to go to the rec room, which of course is in right in the middle. Looks like a dartboard there in the middle of the room. So basically turn to the left, turn to your left, there we go, there we go, there we go, and here it is, it's the rec room, and we're just going to do another enter, and then we're going to leave immediately. And then when we've done that, we're going to go to classroom 3A. And then we're going to enter and leave that. So if we turn around from leaving the rec room, it, the classrooms are down this small hallway. There it is, 3A. We're going to enter this and leave it. And then after this, we're going to get the big massive lunk alert to basically head back to the repository room in the art class. Now it's unlocked apparently, even though it was locked when we tried. Weirdly. Goodbye. <laughs>
a body has after a certain amount of time. Hmm. It's the monarch. <laughs> what? Stop talking. Punishment is. See ya. Hmm. What the heck? That's terrible. She's alive? Where? Cold. Hip. Huh? Uh, I remember. Come on, you got. I remember before I met. Hmm. Oh, it's like. Hey, who, who tried? Who? That's right. Honestly. Stop talking. Huh. Then perhaps. So, in other words. What is this? That's fine. Indeed. Ha! Huh, it's funny because. Uh, Hifumi literally had a blue pill, uh, blue pill, uh, blue pillar erection head, no, didn't he? Uh, but of course, he's now dead, which is not very good. So, bodies been discovered. The victims were Hifumi and Kayo Chicken Taka. Blow to the head for each of them, and they were killed with a similar weapon. That's all we've got then from the Monokuma file. But it is now time for the investigation. Time to get our 1920s detective hats on, boys. Time to L.A. Noir up this schnoz. And there's no way anyone would... In other words... So then... Hey, um... Phew! So in other words... Well... Extreme! Well now... However... So then... Hmm. It's all clear. Then so ahead, let's go ahead and do it. I know it feels like a bit of a chore, this chapter, doesn't it? But we're getting through it. So, examine Himu Fima, whatever his name is, Hufumi's big cold body, as it were. I keep forgetting his name then. Uh, so, after you've examined Hifumi, we're going to then examine Chicken Taka. Oh, and if you wanted to know what else was different about him, his mouth actually closed this time. Which, yeah, thank you to whoever murdered him and <laughs> shut his uh, big gingivitis-looking mouth. So, interact with Taka next. Next, interact with the walls of uh, the hammers on the back of the wall. Sorry, not the walls on the back of the hammer. Hammer on the back of the walls. And, of course, this is where we're going to start getting uh, all our truth bullets in for another 40 minute or so class trial, which is always as entertaining as ever. Right, interact with the blue dolly. It's next to Secura on the floor. That is what is called a dolly. Now, in other countries, it's called just... Is it called a dolly in everywhere else? A flatbed? A flat trolley? Flat trolley? Anyway, it's the thing right by Sakura's legs right there. So, interact with that. And uh, that will be that. Now we're going to do a bit of speaking. So, after this then, we've seen a blood stain on it. That's going to get us some more truth, bullety, bullety truths. 
and then this time turn to the right and speak to Bayakuya. Bayakuya, Allah, Allah. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? I see. That's enough. <laughs> Goodbye. And then we're going to speak to Sakura next. Now, you can review the events. Basically, you get a choice to say yes or no, whether you uh, want to review the events. I actually, I actually went to go for no, but ended up accidentally clicking yes instead. So basically, this bit's going to take a minute where Sakura literally goes through everything that's happened. So, um, pretty sure you can just say no, and it'll be absolutely fine. If you have said no, just go ahead and speak to Hina. Asa Hasa Hasa Hina, who's on the left side of the room, and then we can just leave after that. Mm. So before heading anywhere then, press the B button in order to leave. Uh, we, we don't actually leave, but we will make another observation here. And the truth bullet is all about the locks. So that just gets added. And then once that truth bullet has been added, we can now start finally teleporting around. Thank the good Jeebus man. Uh, so this time though, we're going to head to the equipment room. So let's go back into our map. And let us go into the equipment room, which is on the same floor that we're on, on the third floor. So when we do that, what we're going to do now is go ahead and speak to Toco Pops. I know I already used that joke for... Well, it's Genocide Jill, actually, isn't it? But Toco, Genocide Jill, all the same crap. The old, even insania Harley Quinn. So after you've spoken to her, examine the blue, blue tarps. They kind of look like blue carpets or something. Um, just next to Togo, Maloko, Chicken Terrioko. Then interact with the blood mark in the center of the floor. Remember, it is looks more like purple drink. He forgot my purp purple is my favorite drink. So interact with that. And when that one's done, we're going to interact with the Justice Hammer number four on the floor on the left side of the room. So turn your camera slightly. Have a look at the four Justice Hammer. And after this, we can now go into our map and we're going to fast travel to the nurse's office now. So the nurse's office, which is going to be on the same floor. Uh, sorry, no, it's not. It's going to be on the first floor. Hope's Peak first floor. Sorry, that is where the nurse's office is. So travel there. And we're going to go ahead and speak to Celeste to just get her statement. <gasps> Turkey Twizzler makes me hungry for Turkey Twizzlers. It makes me hate Jamie Oliver, the chef, even more. Let's see. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Indeed. After speaking to Turkey Twizzler Head, then examine the third Justice Hammer, or Justice Hammer number three. And then, after that, turn the camera slightly to interact with the bin, or the trash can, right behind her. And then we need to go on the right side of the room after this and examine the small refrigerator. See, now in America, it's it, it's spelled like refrigerator because there's no D in it. Fridge. J. Or is that just the British spelling? I don't bloody know. 
I'm not brilliant at speaking English, American, or spelling the exact same anyway. But anyway, interact with the small refrigerator. Um, you have to, of course, see the camera to see it. And then after this, we can leave the room and bye, ya, coo, ya. It's gonna chat. It's all clear now. <laughs> Goodbye. It's starting to get a little tasty from here. Right, so we need to now head to Hero's Room. And of course, it's on the dormitory first floor, and it's going to be all the way on the right hand side. The only one with an exclamation mark, so you can't miss it. But there is Hero's Room. Uh, you cannot fast travel, by the way, until you've after until after you left the nurse's office and talked to Bayakuya. So when we go inside of Hiro, 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 it's off to his room we go, and then we're gonna interact with the boxes. Hiro, 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 Hiro. So yeah, interact with the uh, boxes next to the bed, and then after all this is done, we can leave the room, and finally, Big Asahina chats with us. So you think this is a slam dunk? Well, let's wait and see, is it? So let's examine all of the students over the other side there, all the bodies, all the peoples. And then what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to speak to Kyoko when you can, first of all. So there she is, old Kyoko drops. Right. Don't be mean! What? Well, it's nothing. Hey, and I mean, hmm. huh? Don't let me out of it. <laughs> you got it all wrong. It would seem. <laughs> hmm. So then. Uh, um... Honestly, is that okay? <laughs> Could it be... That's terrible! <sighs> Just the worst! What? What? That's right. Hmm... Uh, um... What the heck? Please! What are you saying? What the heck? Okay... Blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. And not to mention. That's not a very nice. Uh, I, I mean, it's not like. I mean, it seems pretty cl. Ah. Oh. Uh, um. <laughs> Just a second. <laughs> but. Honestly. What the heck? <laughs> Just the what? That's terrible! What? Now you think if somebody was murdering in that Robo Justice costume, they would actually take it off before coming back. Anyway, speak to Hero Hero once more. What the heck? What? what? Just the what? Please? Huh? How about that? So then. Hmm. I'm at least 30% right. Correct. What the heck? Uh, 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 um. Just the so huh? uh, 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 Don't just a sec. Hmm. No way. Uh, 
<laughs> Just the word. What are you saying? Hmm. What? What? Hmm. Nakoda. It would seem. Why? Anyway, shall we go? Hey. Correct. So we found Kyoko, which is always nice, but uh, what we're going to do after this bit of conversation, we're going to fast travel back to the repository room. So that is in the, well, it's in the art room, but you can, act on the third floor, but you can actually just go straight to the rep room. There it is, where Sekuru and Hiro, uh, well, those two are there. But also Kyoko appears as well. So, after this tiny bit of conversation, we need to speak to Kyoko again. I see. <sighs> That's right. In other However, Makoto, because Hey, is that right? So then, in fact, we already spoke to Kyoko, so now we're going to examine. Um, Hifumi's dead body once more. Oh, in fact, this is actually the last bit now. This is the last bit then before the class trial. But again, this class trial, it takes about 35 minutes or so, and it just... I mean, this one, again, I don't know about you guys and gals right now, but this has seemingly gone on forever. So, speak to Kyoko one more time. Um... Now this time, in terms of investigation, we didn't really check out that much, but we got a whole heap load of information. Um, and yeah, what's felt like a long haul so far, it's going to feel even longer now, to be fair. Anyway, as usual, we're going to be transported to the big red door, we're going to nip through, have a little chat with Monokuma, and go into the elevator. Uh, um... Is that right? So... Hey, so then... Hey... Is that right? Are you excited? Are you pumped? It, it would seem... Shall we go? Stop talking. Okay. Hey! Hey! Let's go. <laughs> Please! What the heck? What the heck? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's right.
Chihuahua. Come on. <sighs> so here we go again then. Can you tell I'm super excited about this? But anyway, make a manual save, of course. I like I said, I always keep a manual save in every empty slot. Now, let's go on to some set skills. If you've managed to follow the video and get all the free times and stuff, you should have 16 skill points. Um, I've got Menacing Focus, but I'm not going to bother with that. What I am going to put it into, though, is Handiwork this time. Because basically, there is a new feature in the Bullet Time Battle. Reloading. So remember where we press the A button, Y button to shoot? Now you've just got to press the X button to reload, that's all. And basically, that just gives you two bullets to reload with. So easy enough, but, you know, it's, uh, it's all good. So... Um, and of course, we, we're going to come to a bullet time battle quite early in this um, first part. So, everyone seems to think it is high row, but you'd think you wouldn't just leave your blueprints and everything just wide out into the open in your bedroom, wouldn't you? So, let's begin, shall we? First off, it's going to be the truth bullet. The answer, of course, is going to be Yash Hero, yes, uh, Hero's message. Now, the target to shoot is blueprints when Celeste is talking. There it is, blueprints, give that a shot, job done. And remember, of course, anytime you see the little purple bits of dialogue, press the A button to shoot that. That, remember, of course, goes towards the achievements for destroying 100 and 500 white noises, even though it's purple dialogue. Fair enough. So, next up, the reasoning is going to be hero. When it comes up, there it is, so choose hero. Hi Ro, hi Ro, it's off to death we go. Then there can be no- It makes perfect sense. So what you're- That's right. The now that's a bold- And what reason do you have to make- There's something else we need to- Hey, stop trying to- So what is it? It would seem that his corp- And let's go for a bit of evidence bashing. First up is going to be the blue tarp. So choose the blue tarp. I got it! And for the next bit of evidence then, choose the respiratory dolly. So the blue dolly with a blood stain on it. I got it! They were a dolly and a tarp, right? Papa's body disappeared from the equipment. It was the same tarp. So the killer m Okay. I'm sure the doll was in. But when the bot. Later. So. You know that. Huh? So, have you clever kids figured out who's actually done it yet? If not, don't worry, we're gonna go into it. So, this is the new bullet time battle. Remember, like I said, um, you just press the X button. It's still the rhythm game, so you need to press the X button to reload when you're on the dots. What I'm going to do, pretty much straight away, is press the right bumper to go into focus gauge. Which means, remember, whenever you press the A button and the Y button, you can never miss until the focus gauge runs out. The star's at the top right corner there. So I press the right bumper now, and then just keep smashing out the A button and Y button. Of course, you can never miss until it runs out. And obviously, you keep the bullets going. So it's going to run about, run out about now. So now, every time we shoot, a bullet disappears. So every time we press the X button, we, because we've got the handicap skill as well, we can press the X button now and it reloads it for us. But of course, she's used her Nega style time as well. So just keep on going, keep on going. Lucky I got kind of lucky with the combos. And then press the Y button on here. And that is the bullet time battle done already. So we don't have to worry about that later on. That bit's done now. If you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, when I found the dolly in the room, there was a pool of blood in the equipment room with the tire. And as the blood dried on the tire. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah. This I'm not sure that if you look back on how the. And it's time for another truth bullet. Right. The answer, of course, is going to be. Robo Justice Costume, and then the word that we need is bend over when Hina, Asahina, is talking. So the answer is bend over, remember. So not now, not now. 
And still not now. There's going to be no white noise coming up anyway here. Here it is, so shoot, bend over. <laughs> oh, I, there's about 16 different ways you could take what I just said there. Shoot it and bend over. Anyway, um, next off is going to be another reasoning <laughs> anyway. When you're in that suit, am I right? It seems like it'd be. When you can't even. Well, I mean. And the reasoning being, you can't take it off by yourself. So that's the bottom one there. You can't take it off by yourself. I got. I don't think taking off the suit. True. It seems impossible to put the suit. Showing up in the suit. Yeah, that's right. To be clear, you all got a. Besides, do you remember? So long as those facts, the individual inside the suit. Hold on a second. Besides. There's no before we rush to instead of seizing. Let's review this series. <laughs> Plus, maybe we'll get. All right then. Four of us gathered together. We that was around. It seems I. That was when we saw Celeste as it turned. It we were soon joined in, but not long after. When Celeste told us that, and then at that point, we just Celeste when we got back to, and that's I left Celeste. Meanwhile, because we heard the And that's when I but right after we ran into Slack. We rushed back then we were But when we and after Think that about cup. It certainly seems to me that these are not a s rather than a single series. And now then, now it's time for a bit of absorbing bullet. Remember, with the one word, you've got to press and hold the Y button to absorb that. And the one that you're going to need is the numbering when Hina is talking. So I'll obviously tell you what it is. Um, if you pa if you um, sort of panic with the white noise and stuff going on, just ignore that. Completely ignore that for now. So there was the numbering, and now we need to choose what order with Hina talk as a Hina talking again. So obviously next time that we see the words what order coming up, when as a Hina's talking, make sure to shoot that. So there it is, what order. Now. I missed, which again is fine, we get a little bit of damage, which is fine, so you just, if you do end up missing, like I said, you just need to absorb the one word again, so we needed to absorb the number, because you can't just shoot it, so we go again, we absorb the number, so when Asahina says what order, shoot it, so again, apologies if I sort of over explain myself right there, um, I'll try not to sort of over explain it from now on, I'll just tell you exactly what to grab, now we're going to be playing a game of Hangman's Gambit, and I got this so incredibly stupidly wrong, I've left it in to show you, so you don't make the same mistake that I did. So, the answer that we're looking for is wristwatch. Now, you, what you need to do is just get the letter that is after the first one. So now we need the letter I. So we need to spell it out, one letter at a time, rather than going for each individual letter. So, now we need to go for S. And obviously, the more wrong ones that you do, the more damage you take. And for some reason, I was taking my time with this one, getting it right. So now we need the letter W. So just wait. Don't panic. You've got six minutes or five and a half minutes. So don't panic. We need the letter W. The letter A. C. C. You big dopey donkey bollock head flubber. And then H. So... 
For some reason, I kind of missed that the first two times, but you've got to spell it out the correct way. You can't just smash out a bunch of random letters there. It doesn't work like that. So, uh, luckily I didn't die. And then when we, after a couple more truth bullets or whatever here, that's when we get our damage and full health back. But we are going to be doing another absorb bullet in just a mo. Mo, mo, mo. That's true. If that's right. That's exactly why the cult... down to the nurse's office. And that's where we... That's totally true! We're all... Oh. Don't just go making stuff up! And then, there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the equipment room. That would be because... This guy didn't do it! On the other hand, for now, in particular... His body appeared... What? So then, it is broken wristwatch. And then we need to, when Kyoko is talking, we need to absorb someone else's discovery. So, not now. So it's when Kyoko's talking, we need to, it's somebody else's discovery. Which, of course, you need to press and hold the white button. So, keep it going, keep it going. Now, I actually messed up it up again. So there it is, someone else's discovery. Press and hold the Y button now. And the answer to shoot is dead body had been found by Celeste. So the dead body had been found by Celeste. And you will need to shoot the um, white noise and then quickly shoot it. There we go. So that is that one. Again, like I said, if the sort of white noise purple dialogue is going too fast for you to shoot that, and to shoot the answer, then just don't panic about the white noise. Um, because there'll be actually a point in chapter 5 where we can get the achievement out of the way within 20 minutes very, very easily. Next, choose when both bodies were rediscovered. So that's when both bodies were rediscovered. We heard it a second time in the repository when we rediscovered... So when we, and that's just oh, 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 I know, I know. That is the worst logic I have ever. Okay then, but this whole thing. And then next up, we've got another truth bullet. So it's Fumi's glasses here, and the sh the one that we need to shoot is the answer. There was no notable difference when Celeste talks. So when Celeste is talking, I'll obviously tell you when to shoot it now. There was no notable different, no notable difference. Which is not now. This one. No notable difference. Bam. Shoot that dead. When but when we found it, they were spotless. And I... <laughs> and there we go. Now we're going to gather some more evidence. This time we're after the glasses cleaning cloth. So the glasses cleaning cloth. Make sure to pick that one. I got it. It was a glasses cleaning. One look at the and the mascot of and who's digital camera. I highly I, I wouldn't be. Need any foot? And it must have been. What was with all that blood? The fridge in the nurse's office. He figured if he was put in the Hifumi. And for the next reasoning, make sure to ch uh, pick Hifumi. Hif Hifumi. Sounds like a beef and Hifumi sandwich, please. That also. Which be he convinced. But if you're happy, you know what I'm talking about. And for the next piece of evidence, then make sure to choose the note Hifumi had. Halumi Hifumi. Make sure to choose that one then. The note Hifumi had. You're talking about the note Hifumi had hidden away, aren't you? That's right. <laughs> Next up, make sure to choose my favorite meal, chicken taka. So, choose taka. 
I got it! That's right! The killer used this note. Hello, over. I don't really understand what's going on. So whoever wrote it wasn't drawing out TikTok. Um, just to be cool. And next up then is a truth bullet. We are slightly getting there, but we need to choose the option broken wristwatch. So when it starts, press and hold the left bumper, of course, and make sure to choose the broken wristwatch option. And the one that we need is nothing to do with TikTok. That is the answer to shoot, and that is when Toko, or Genocide Jill, is talking. So nothing to do with TikTok. There it is, so shoot that as quick as you can. I end up missing, but that is fine. Bit of damage gets taken off, but that is also fine. But yeah, sometimes you've got to be kind of quick in terms of the um, the white noise and the purple dialogue going on there. So you've got to be quick and shoot it. So here it is again. Shoot that to the left. It seemed to work there, a bit more to the left. Man, Genocide Jill is actually becoming my favourite character now. She's often nuts. You don't know whether to get aroused or scary. Once again, we are being scare aroused. You want a kiss? Well, I'm going to stab you in the abdomen. Tidy boys! Right, after this bit, we're going to um, stick in some more evidence. And it is a Kayotaka's scrap of paper. Which should be at the bottom there. Kayotaka's scrap of paper. When I searched Taka's body, I am right about this. I knew it! Then Takafumi had the There's old Taka died, Club. Did I get all that? Exactly. In fact, he was behind the whole thing! Sorry. When we found him in the repository... So then... Whoever did... He was killed in the repository... During that time, we don't... In other words, during... Stop trying to steal the spot! Who are you calling a what? Anyway, when they were killed bothers me, too. The weapon they used to... The weapon? Yeah. The way Taka and Hifumi were killed, but Justice Hammer 3 and 4. So if Hifumi, the culprit would have had. But one. I'm surprised. It's. He's right, though. But if the hammer. Personally, I. So which hammer was used? Um. I don't think it is. Time for another truth bullet session. This time, we're going to go for the spotless hammer, which is the only one there, which is fine. And the answer we need is one of the Justice Hammers when Hero is talking. So one of the Justice Hammers, and that is when Hero or Haro or Hero is speaking. No, I tell you I can. When it starts shaking, it makes you think that it is that one, but it's not. That's the one, one of the Justice Hammers. So if you can not miss like I almost did. But, seriously? A different weapon? Now, huh? if the hammer... I'd also like to point out that the repository... And I think... If that's true, that wouldn't... And it is time for another absorb bullet. So the word, the answer that we need to absorb is two murders when Kyoko is talking. So, spotless, um, spotless hammer again, that's fine. So, two murders is what we need to absorb. And that is when Kyoko is talking. So, if you want to, of course, for the achievement, shoot the um, white noise purple dialogues as they're going past. So, remember, it's, the answer is two murders. There it is. So, quickly shoot that and quickly absorb two murders. And then the answer we need to shoot is when Celeste says the word impossible. So impossible when Celeste is talking. That is what we need to shoot right now. There it is. Give that a shot. Again, like I said earlier, if you miss, you just have to go through it again and make sure to absorb the two murders before shooting the impossible. Otherwise, that damages you off a couple of times. Now it is time to select someone. Have you figured it out yet? Oh, it's so exciting, right? Well... To be honest, again, when you think about it, of course, that's uh, hindsight. When you think about it, it's obvious. But I was kind of surprised with this one. I understand how an attack problem numeral. Who do you think it is? Who do you think it is? Keep going. Keep going. Nice face, Ifumi. Keep going. It's Celeste. It is Celeste. So we are going to be picking Celeste. Got kind of surprised with that one, in all fairness. 
Um, but we're not quite done yet. We've got a couple of Absorb and Truth bullets left to go. But it is Celeste who was the one that planned it all out. Very, very good plan. And she would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for us meddling kids and that damn dog. So, make sure for the reasoning, choose Encountering the Suspicious Individual. So, Encountering the Suspicious Individual. Behavior they had in... Shush. The adult... As he said, only... We headed... She led... Once she done her job... to get us to divide into two groups. In fact, Celeste was precise. Well, if and on top of that, <laughs> that was to signal he f Why else would you let out a scream that could- I just realized enough- Celeste, you you wanted to make sure we wouldn't have I I don't Kina, you were with Yeah. Wait! Each piece isn't much by it. Wouldn't you agree? Don't bother trying to you made one. Oh. I didn't even catch it my looking back. I I'm talking about what you said at Remember her saying that. But then Makoto showed up and told us if food now. Think about it. Yeah, I see. If you're really not the culprit. And we've got another absorb bullet. Now, for some reason, this one took me a couple of tries to do, and I'll tell you exactly why. But what we're going for first, we need to absorb the words so strange when Bayakuya, Bayakuya is talking. So smash through this. So when Bayakuya is talking and he says so strange, now absorb it. And make sure to put your um, your reticle to, sort of towards the top left of where Celeste is. Those guys is what we need to shoot. But it gets very small, very quick, very easy to miss. So shoot it now. Now I have to go through that two, three times because the writing got really small and I ended up missing it a couple of times. So <laughs> it was those guys. Right, next up is the next reasoning. And then there's just two more truth bullets and one more reasoning left after this. Finally. It, has it felt like it's gone on forever? Kind of has, isn't it, really? Yes, I happen to know. In other words, it is an unassisted simple. Are we sh surely there are... So, for the next reasoning then, make sure to choose Hifumi is dragging the suspect away. So, Hifumi is dragging the suspect away. How very interrodasting. Gun! It's not a picture of the suspect dragging. I would say it's a picture of That's certainly within the realm. The one being dragged off in that we've simply been led. In this strange costume, like if you saw some. Is it? So on to another truth bullet then, and there's three options to choose from. We need to we need to choose Robo Justice costume. So hold left bumper, go up to Robo Justice costume, and then the answer we need to shoot is Stand Up Straight by Celeste. So when Celeste is talking, make sure to shoot the option Stand Up Straight, which is right about mm, not now, not now. Sorry, now. So Stand Up Straight, there it is. No, even if the person inside the suit were unconscious. That's right. Don't make me laugh. Clear the You want to cram me into your little guilty box? Well, have you already for? Yes, team. Who had attacked? Get on the board. Yep. Wait. 
but my name isn't really Yuck. Your confusing statements don't. He did say Yuck. And now for the last reasoning, it's going to be he said people's last names. So he said people's last names. I got it. That's right. Our last name. Exactly. I know it. I'm sure it was just indecent. Don't tell. Random chance. No. But he must have run out so he really was trying to put the name he said does well no. And that's Celeste. <sighs> to think you'd take your Well to a... Okay, then Phyllis Stop! Make my new name is Celestia Ludenburg. Could you please? And finally we're at the end, it's the last truth bullet then, and there's another couple of options to choose from. So again, when we begin, we're gonna need to choose E handbook. So again, press and hold the left bumper, and then go up towards e-handbook. And then the answer is, no way to contradict me by Celeste. So when Celeste is talking, the answer is, no way to contradict me. Sounded more like a crappy pop song then, didn't it? No way to contradict me from Celeste. Terrible. So as soon as it begins, of course, keep, keep uh, shooting the um, white lines. There it is. No way to contradict me. Shoot and shoot again, and now we can finally just go into the closing argument. Thank God! That seemed to take forever. And there's less people here, and this seems to be taking more forever. So all we can... So please... Even when I'm put in check, I'm telling... Fine. So, we know what we're doing by now, aren't we? So, from right to left, first of all, what we're going to pick is the side view of Hifumi's face. Kind of hard to miss, since he looks like a walrus or something. Um, so, there it is, the side view of Hifumi's face. That's the first one. The next one is going to be the clock on the wall. So, pretty obvious what a clock looks like. Yeah, cool. Cool. Ock, I said. Um, next, choose Hero scratching his head. He's probably got fleas and stuff in there. That looks untamed and unbrushed and unwashed for a few days now. So that is that one, scratching his head. Next, choose the blackened holding the camera. So the blackened holding the camera, there it is. Next up, choose the wristwatch, which again, like I said in the previous two, the images will be in a random order. So choose the wristwatch next anyway. Next, make sure to choose Bloody Justice Hammer number four. So we will be marked on there, two, three, and four. We need to choose number four this time. With blood on it. Or purple drink. Next, choose Justice Hammer number two. So this doesn't have any purple drink on it. And then for the eighth one, we're going to choose bloody Justice Hammer number three. So it's important that you did it in that order. Four, then two, then three. Now you're going to look at Hifumi sweating, pushing the dolly with the tarped body. That's probably the most exercise he's ever seemed to have done, I reckon. Uh, there it is, so Hifumi sweating like a complete hippo. He looks more like a hippo that's just come out of water, to be honest, and he's about to snack down. Uh, anyway, and then finally, you're going to choose the bloody blank hammer, the one that doesn't have a number on it. So it should be fairly obvious which one it is. There it is, the purple drank hammer. So choose that, and then of course, we're just going to go through the whole act again. Makoto, or whatever our name is, is going to go through it all again. And it's actually very, very well thought out from Celeste. It's a bit of a shame she'd done it, but um, she'll just explain exactly all what happened. How she used Hifumi to kill Taka, and then killed Hifumi herself, because she wanted that $10 million dues. Bang tidy. I mean, not really, because there's three people dead now, but... Could have been if it weren't for us meddling kids and that damn dog. They drugged him, knocked him out. When they were done with him, they shoved him, still. And then finally, they called Taka to the equipment. And that 
the murder weapon. So that this week. While we did that, we left you. Took a minute. He let Meanwhile, we he simply got up and once again. He wrapped Taka's body in. But even you fool didn't know. Their plan all along was to, and they did it using an ordinary that should cover everything that happened. Then you admit it? I select Haiko. Yasuhiro is fucked. Haiko? So, you. I'm the kind of person. Once. Interest. There we go, mate. Owl good. We have finally done this, but we do have a couple of things left to do yet. Um, but it does start getting very more interesting. So. You should have roughly about 100 to 110 coins, depending on if you did. You've probably done a lot better than I did there. Hopefully you did. But you'll get roughly about that. Anyway. And, well, enjoy the cutscene. Enjoy the death. Just a second. In other words... Indeed. I see. <laughs> um, actually... What? Are you okay with the... Yeah. So then... Damnation! <sighs> Say what? As for me... Oh. As for me... What? Uh, damnation! Say what? Leon? Hmm? Actually... What? <sighs> Indeed. <sighs> Honestly... I swear, I will save her! Actually... Huh? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I see. In Are you okay? So it. <laughs> what the heck? Well, I wonder about what. What the? But. <laughs> hey! You little bitch! This is fine. Honestly. As for me, isn't it wonderful? 
In all fairness, I would definitely probably simp myself to be a butler slash bodyguard if Celeste wanted to pay me the good dollary dues. I'm happy to do that. Trust me, in the cost of living crisis these days, you'd do anything for money. I'd, I'd, I'd kiss a red shoe for like 50 quid. That's... Um, maybe I shouldn't say what else I'd do for money. Nah, I'm going to leave that one. Uh, <laughs> just joking. I'm, I'm rich. Rich with your guys' love, huh? Chills! Now then, I prepared a vet. Let's get. I guess I'll let Kyoko hold. What? Will it really give you the hope you're looking? Which is why. Well then. So then, made it just like she just looked like she sweated herself to death before the fire consumed her and then a big fire truck went straight into her face. It's a pretty unlucky way to go, but that's what you get for bashing one of my favourite characters, Hifumi. Um, but anyway, I've got a new favourite character, character in Genocide Jill now, so um, yeah. Anybody you guys getting attached to so far? I would like to know, actually. Kyoko, one of my favourites, very mysterious and... Very pretty eyes and all that, and Genocide Jill, because she scare-houses me. Hello. Well, see ya. So... Huh? Hmm. Hey. Indeed. Hey. What? So... Come on. What? Goodbye. Well then. Yo! <laughs> okay. Shall... So then... You really can! <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> you... However... What? Indeed. What? It's... That's fine. Never end this fucking...
So all's well that ends well then, Alter Ego is fine, three more students are dead, which means we are closer to that $10 million prize and getting out of here. If that's what I assume to be right. But the game does start getting a lot, lot more mysterious now. So we're, we are basically at the end now, we've just got to go into the boys' bathroom here. And then what you need to do is examine the storage closet. So basically you have to turn the camera the opposite way. There you go, if you press Y, the observation, you'll know which one it is. The green stall right at the very end. So, interact with that. Select the wall. Correct. Yeah, no, we fell down. Now we are going to interact with the bookshelf. I mean, I was going to say, imagine if this was all just one sick reality TV show, but uh, getting knocked on the head like that probably would take it a little bit too far. The health and safety nuts would cry, cry, cry. Anyway, when we wake up, interact with the bookshelf one more time, and then we're going to be automatically taken to the first floor. So simply interact with the gym door to find the massive surprise and who the head teacher's spy actually is. Da da da. Yeah. Why you? This was I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No, nope. I've made my time going. Hmm, but you do you haven't <gasps> So, Sakura Sakura, oh baby, when you flex like that, you may bodybuilders go mad. So be buff, and be stuff, get those roids in your butt, bro. G I mean, girl, bro. Um, so, as it turns out then, Sakura is the spy, after all of that. Which, I mean, if Sakura's the spy, you probably think in the next chapter, um... Somebody's gonna find out eventually and then people are gonna kick off and Sakura may just die But how are you gonna do that when she literally looks in the best shape I've ever seen of any character ever? Well, let's find out shall we? We're not obviously gonna say anything yet, but this is now basically chapter 4 um, I'm just gonna end it here and well there you go So thank you so so much for watching guys and gals I hope you're enjoying the game and the guides so far. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon and everyone who continues to interact with me on the daily. But that's it for chapter 3. I'm going to see you in chapter 4, guys and gals. <laughs> Big love. I see. It's true. You got it. You know, you're serious. Well, um... According... How about that? Mm. It's not like some the occult is so uh... You got it all wrong. 
so... Hmm. But... The end is nigh! Some crazy... What do you really... You can't trick me! How about that? Don't be me! <laughs> yeah! Of course. Indeed. Well. But...